Hey guys, so before we start the video, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that there was an issue with the mic. For whatever reason, uh, no audio was recorded for like the first half of the video. It was disconnected somehow. So we kind of missed everything <laughs> from the start, from the start of the video all the way to the start of the descent. So I apologize in advance. We still have the last half of the video. So please enjoy the landing today in Luxor, Egypt. This is your boy Flyland Guy. Let's drop the intro. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we've started our descent into Luxor. And this is going to be a bit of an interesting one today because... Yeah, CDI stores just decided to stop working for whatever reason. So, uh... Yeah, we're pretty much going to have to fly this approach manually. Uh, even our VNAV is doing something sort of weird. Vnev is, is uh, kind of doing something weird too, so uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, let's have a quick discussion, quick, quick discussion about our approach for today. Uh, we are going to be doing the, uh, let me show you guys. Okay. There we go. We're going to be doing the RNAV uh, RMP Runway 2.0 approach. And uh, right now it's got us doing like a weird, it's going to be like a weird sort of loop. Kind of going like that. I'm not sure why we are doing that, but uh, that's pretty much what it has us doing. So the annoying part is because... Um, because my CDI source isn't working, I'm going to pretty much have to fly this entire approach just using heading mode, which is going to make it really, really difficult. <laughs> Not difficult, but it's going to be a little more, a little more annoying rather than just kind of putting it in nav mode and uh, setting it and forgetting it. So yeah, we have a really kind of strange turn here that we have to do. I'll just show you guys. You see that right there? So I'm gonna have to find a way of kind of positioning us just right so that we could cross this LX814 waypoint. And I'm not really sure that's gonna happen. But uh, yeah, we're gonna find a way to land safely. We're gonna make this happen, you guys, all right? So we've crossed down well below 10,000 feet. We have our landing lights on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set the local altimeter. As you can see, weather here is absolutely beautiful again today. It uh, looks like the city of Luxor is off here to our left. And that's the, the, the Nile River, kind of right here. So it's actually good to see some greenery though. <laughs> Happy about that. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any kind of greenery so far in this trip for... Ooh, it's been a minute. <laughs> pretty much been all desert. Uh, but we are sl slowly making our way out of the Sahara. Uh, we're heading further south. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get some good views. But in the meantime, while we're here in Luxor, hopefully maybe we'll get some more uh, views of pyramids on the approach. I don't know. I don't know. Got to set at 2,000 feet. And as you can see, we're just kind of using the uh, heading to make this turn. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can make it happen, folks. 
Airport should be off to our left. Can't really see it right now because we're a little far away. That is fine. Just sort of taking my time right now as we do this approach. I think 2,000 feet is our final altitude. Yes, so that's where we're heading to now. All right, yeah, we're making the turn. Hitting 2,000 feet now, so we should start slowing down, which is good. We are very low, folks. All right. Uh, the annoying thing is because we can't set our CDI source, I don't even know if we get arm approach mode. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think it will. So we're pretty much going to have to fly this visually. Which is fine though. Absolutely beautiful out here. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try and straighten up now. As our speed is coming down, uh, we're going to start like prepping ourselves for um, final approach. Which means uh, soon enough we'll go ahead and get that first notch of flap out. I'm just gonna. Okay, nah, yeah, approach mode's not working either. Alright. Okay, airport is straight ahead. And we're gonna be landing on uh, runway 20, as I mentioned before. So right now I'm just focusing on kind of getting us lined up. Yeah, that looks good. No, 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 no left. All right. So, uh, let's see. Gonna get our approach checklist. Fuel transfer is pushed out. Uh, kind of off to the right a little bit. Off to the left. Uh, we don't have to worry about the ILS frequency. Passions of signs. Uh, PD boats. And... Altimeters are set to local. Let's get our gear down. Oh, sorry. Our flaps down. We're gonna go flaps too. And gear down. Actually, at this point, I'm gonna go yaw down for off and uh, autopilot off as well. I'm just gonna bring this in by hand. I was hoping I at least get to enjoy the approach a little bit, but I guess that's not gonna happen. She don't really have anything to guide us right now. <laughs> oh gosh, kind of sucks. All right, uh, gonna go flaps three. Let's look at our final approach or before landing checklist. Your damper is off. Our landing gear is down. Three green. Flaps are set to three. And airspeed is looking good. Let 
I'm seeing there's two runways here. No, I think that's just a taxiway. It's just how it looks. I just want to see if I'm going to see some kind of pappies or something. I don't really have anything to guide me in this approach right now. I'm just sort of eyeballing it. I wonder if now I should have chosen the ILS approach <laughs> instead. Probably would have been the better option. But I said, no, the weather looks good. Let's just do the... Uh, See the RMP approach instead. I'm regretting it. Did see some stutters just now, which means I'm uh, probably going to get some stutters in OBS. But I'm hoping this is going to be a smooth landing. We shall see. We are all set, folks. Uh, should be a smooth enough landing coming in. Looks like three reds, one white. Now, two reds, two white. Kind of hard to see the pappies, but I'm just gonna follow it in. Looks like we're all good on two red, two white right now. Just trying to stay as much center as I can. Now we're a little high, it's okay. Try and get on center. Cut the throttles. And just rest it down gently if we can. Beautiful. Just gonna get the nose down. Alright. Aircraft does not look like it wants to slow down. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to apply some manual braking just to get it to stop somewhat. I'm just going to come to the end of the runway. Good landing. Good landing. Yeah, I don't know what happened with... Uh, with all of the uh, CDI source and all that, it just did not work. Maybe I did something, don't know, not sure. Alright, we're just going to go flaps up. And now that we're off the runway. We can go taxi lights. Lots of aircraft here. So local time is about uh, 7.54 in the morning. So uh, once we go and park, we're just going to get us a nice coffee and call it a day, folks. All right, while we're taxiing, uh, we can get our flight directors off. Don't need it. We have our flaps up. And everything else looks good. So I did see some stuttering uh, while we were landing. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, it's going to be some weird stuttering from OBS. Still have no idea what's causing it. Thought it was FS realistic. Uh, I don't think it's that. So, could maybe be FSLTL? Don't know. I don't really want to disable it, but uh, if we have to do that, just so we can get some, some, we can, you know, put less strain on the uh, the process. We're going to do, do what we have to do. That's what it boils down to. 
And as soon as I get the chance, I'm just gonna just try and upgrade everything. Alright, so let's come here. I'm just gonna head towards that building straight ahead. Alright. Maybe I might have to try and turn down FSLTO settings. I don't know, man. It's weird. It's almost like the stuttering started to happen. All the blue. Always restart my computer <laughs> before I uh, start up a flight. So I'm not sure what's going on. All right. Transavia Airways. Here we are. I'm going to slid on, slid on a taxi. Uh, as we come up here to the, the gate. All right. And that's it. Alrighty folks, taxi lights can come off. Uh, we'll leave the strobe lights off. I'll we'll leave the strobe lights on. I don't know, there's no beacon lights, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, we'll go ahead and switch the engine off. Let's get our GPU connected again. Uh, so we can shut off our generators when the engine comes off. Engine off time log. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Alright, strips can come off as well. Probably get dinged for that somehow. Alright, fuel pumps come off as well. And passenger signs will come off too. Alrighty, folks. So, let's, uh, Get the door open. And that is it. I still don't know why my camera does this either. Ooh, that was almost a perfect park job. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the flight to Luxor. This is a bit of a weird one, unfortunately. Um, the CDI so it's not working. So we kind of have to do this all by hand. Luckily, the weather was great, so this wasn't the issue. But uh, we're going to continue our journey. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you see fit. Outside of that, this is your boy Flyland Guy saying stay safe. And most importantly, stay fly. I'm out. Peace.